guys, Mike Gross here, RockingGuitarLessons.com. That's Dave Matthews. With you know, I called it Crash all these years, but I didn't write down the name of it. It's Crash something something, but I'll have it fixed on the title. Um, great song, probably my favorite song from Dave Matthews right here. You want to tune standard, and the chords are difficult. There's nothing easy about this. Um, it's uh, C sharp minor seven. And what you want to do is 4A middle finger, fingering is critical, 1D, or first finger 2D, third finger 4G, and pinky 5B. And you can check them from string 5 to string 1. And hit the A string, down, up, down, up, and then just lift your middle finger off. These other fingers, by the way, aren't moving. Well, they are, but they're not going to leave their where the, their frets that they're on. And hit the open A, and then go down, up, down, up. So it's... And then take your index and move it up to the A string second fret, but bar it to where you're covering the second fret on the D as well. And hit the A string, and then down, up, down, up, low E, and then down, up, down, up. So you have that's the midpoint of this song. Hi, Joe. Hi. You can come in. Hi. <laughs> What's up? I'm home. Okay. Let me finish this lesson. Okay. We're bye. Gonna, bye. She said bye, you guys. Did you hear? Okay. So that's the midpoint. Um, so let's play it up to there. It's tricky, man, like I'm saying, the stretches. So we have, I'll do it slower. Ready for some more craziness? Middle finger 4E. You notice we haven't lifted our pinky or our third finger, and the first finger for the most part. First finger go down to uh, the second fret D again, and then hit the E first. Open A is gonna be muted. So basically you can hit strings 4 through 1 and go down, up, down, up, and then open A, you can get rid of that middle finger, and then down, up, down, up, and then bar that second fret on the A and D again, pick that, and then go down, up, down, up, and then low E, and then down, up, down, up. Now when you're doing that, bar the second fret on the A and D again, so it's open E, and then you're covering 2A, 2D. Such a killer progression, man. It's definitely not um, for the beginner guitar player. Unless you're super brave, man, go for it. But work these chords, man, from the fret hand to get clarity on each string that's involved in it. And then also with the strum hand, the cool thing that really makes this kind of progressive, definitely progressive, is it's doing the single notes and the strumming, string skipping, which requires muting on the fret hand, all that stuff involved. And if you're not doing that right, it will show when you're playing it. So um, that's it. If you have questions, I would be glad to help you guys out. Uh, just leave it in the comments section. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Once you do that, send me your favorite songs. I'll get them to you the way these bands are actually playing them, get the tunings right, and hopefully uh, bring it to you in a way that you can understand. And uh, trying my best with it. And so far, we're doing good, man. And like I said, if you do have a question on something, put it in the comment section. I will clear it up for you guys, okay? I'm here for you. Um, if you want lessons personalized on Skype, I'm teaching guitar, bass. My wife, Jolene's doing vocals. Watch my tutorial on my channel. Just go to search channel, put Mike Gross Skype or Skype lessons. Um, it explains everything in it. But it's really a cool way to personalize your lessons, work on what you want to work on. Um, the results will be just like you going to the music store and taking lessons from a guitar teacher because that's what I've done for 20 years. So this is a new venture for me and I just started it about a week ago and the results are good. And the reason I know they are is my subscribers slash students are telling me it is and the lessons are going great. I meet some great people and that's what it's about, man. Music should be fun and, uh, you know, the Skype lessons will take you at your level so we don't have to move too fast, we don't have to move too slow. Um, if I hear you play for 15, 20 seconds, I'll know right where you're at. So if you don't even know what direction you want to go in, all I need to do is hear where you're at. And uh, this is what I've done.
professional and I've done it long enough to know, you know, what to look for in someone and then what to give them to help them. So um, if you're interested, check it out. Hit me up at rockinguitarlessons at hotmail.com. Also, the Ultimate Beginner's Guide DVD. I have a tutorial on that. Feel free to check that out. It's for beginners. If you're a, you know, approaching intermediate, I don't really suggest that you purchase that DVD. Wait till you know I come up, come out with an intermediate one, which will be a while. But um, I don't want you to buy something that you're not going to need. Okay. And then my website's rockinguitarlessons.com. Coming in December of 2012. We have one little hurdle. Actually, I may as well tell you what it is because maybe you guys can help us. Um, on my website, some of these video lessons that I have are 25, 27 minutes long. The Struggle Me and Matt, Matt's my son-in-law's older brother. He's the one that's, um, he built the website and is doing all this stuff. Really smart dude. I really appreciate him. But we're having trouble finding, I don't know if it's called a host or whatever, but a place where we can do longer um, videos. Because the way it is now, where I can only do two or three minute videos on my website. That's not going to fly because um, I'm taking my time on, on the website lessons because you guys are paying for that. For those of you that join it and become a premium member, it's $25 a month. So I'm really taking my time on it and I need to be able to put 25 minute lessons if I want to do a 30 minute lesson, put it up there. So if you guys have any advice, someone told me Vimeo, uh, someone else told me, uh, oh man, what was it? Something S5, Amazon S5 or something. But um, we're, that's what we're looking for right now. So if you can help hook a brother up, let me know. Thanks guys. I appreciate you. Spread the word about me and we will talk to you soon. Have fun with this song and take your time with it. See you later.